All right. Once again, thanks to the instant free service on this limited time series card that's currently going on. I managed to go through this one pretty quickly. Um, so here we are, tier 14, which is sort of a crossroad for me here. As this tier, in order to get past it, I need the PR 62.1. And uh, my current PR is 61.9. And for those of you guys who won this car from the last time we've run through this uh, car's limited time series last year and haven't upgraded since, then you'd be in the same boat as me. So, what's, uh, what's the crossroad? Well, obviously, I need more upgrade to get past this point. So, let's do a quick uh, cost-benefit analysis real quick, right? So, there's... Uh, 15 gold left in my case, right? I've already claimed, um, what, 18 gold for completing 75% and then some. Uh, so in order to claim the remaining 15, I need to invest another 80 gold on this car. So if I'm strictly talking about this limited time series that is i i think of it as like a like 18 or 19 percent discount on this upgrade because that's what the reward is worth you know 15 gold of 80 gold cost is about you know 18.75 percent to be exact so as a upgrade discount it's still better than nothing but um, if you're patient enough, and if you wait long enough, you know, this car will most likely come on like a upgrade discount. And generally upgrade discount deals are 30%, which is significantly, I would say it's significantly better than the 18.75% that, uh, this eventual, uh, essentially equals to, right. In terms of its value. So if you already own this car, getting this upgrade and bringing your PR to meet the PR requirement of 63, actually you get up to 63.2 with this upgrade scheme. Um, you complete this limited time series for extra 15 gold, but the bonus series this car is featured in maximum performance. Once again, I'm talking about those of you guys who already own this car by completing the limited time series last time and haven't touched the car since. <laughs> um, whether you put the extra upgrade on or not here from this point, you will still be able to claim 75% completion on the maximum performance bonus series, which is worth uh, extra 33 gold. But if you've already completed that far, then you're not getting anything more by getting this upgrade. So, yeah, so that's where I say, um, if you already own this car, I don't think it's worthwhile. Um, but, uh, you know, if you like the car, obviously, then more power to you. Of course, I'm not counting on any of the benefit you would get, let's say, if this car is featured in the future, uh, let's say, weekly time trial then obviously having more upgrades will increase your chance of claiming larger uh, rewards in return. So there's that dimension to it, but that is, you know, um, not certain. What's more certain, in my opinion, is um, there being an upgrade discount on this card. In fact, if the trend continues, if this card is ever featured in weekly time trial competition, I feel like they would offer the discount on upgrade for this one. So, uh, you know, 18%, 19% discount. Is it, uh, is that a good deal? As I said, if you're planning on fully upgrading this car before that happens, I suppose, yeah, it's better than nothing. Um, but, uh, otherwise I would wait if I were not making this video.
record this playthrough videos here. But since I started this video, I feel like uh, I need to complete this series. So for that matter, I will upgrade this car. definitely go for it you know because then uh, you can have another bonus series that you can run through and claim 75% completion reward so in that sense I would say it's worth it if you don't own it own the car but uh, if you already own it then uh, your rate of return diminishes rather quickly since uh yeah here let's do the speed snap berlin circuit target of 167.8 kph as the car is jacked up pretty high <laughs> only at berlin they really want to check under this car Deep enough. Oops. A bit of understeer. Understeer. Let's try that one more time. Will it hold if I go flat out on here? I doubt that. I didn't need to try that hard. In fact, I kind of messed up that one too. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's a nice close margin of victory though. So yeah, yeah, that's good. That's what I was trying to do. All right, so this would be where I would end my run if I were not making this video which is still you know good 91% completion and if you wanted to skip 
costs 130 gold. So obviously, if you want to complete, it's still better to upgrade the car and meet the PR requirement. As you can see, I am shy of 0.2 PR points. So, well, let's do it. We'll get this going. And since we do need to get the PR up above 63 to complete the series, we'll get the last competition engine tuning upgrade, which is only racing dollars. Only thing that is bigger concern here is the fact that it takes 18 hours. So we'll have to watch a few ads to uh, take care of that. But uh, we'll worry about that after the race. So it's going to be three lap cup at Daytona with a little motorcycle course. Right. Okay, here we go. Rolling start.
know what's up. Sales, so uh, I think I have all three cars probably upgraded this week for weekly time trial, which means there is absolutely zero excuse for not being able to get into the top 1%. So, uh, I don't know if I get back to that percent time. going on and the circuit of the americas so i am not certain if i'm gonna be able to make it into the the 0.1 percent the 100 gold reward there so i got relatively close in the at the monza but the circuit of the americas we'll see but my immediate Thing here, well, immediate, immediate would be to finish this limited time series while this instant service is going on, which is very, very handy. So, anyway, that is with that extra gold upgrade, 80 gold spent, uh, tier 14 done, and uh, yeah, I would need that uh, final racing dollar upgrade done to complete the final tier and claim that extra 15 gold so yeah we'll see you there at the final tier of this limited time series for mercedes benz slr mclaren 722 all right see you there